believe it or not, if you are 50, 60 or beyond, you are actually in your freedom years. Hello again, this is Sandra Hart. Thank you so much for stopping by today to have this conversation with me just for a few minutes. And if you hear a lot of background noise, please forgive him, but that's Mushu. He's like crazy glue and stays by my side all the time. So he is here down on the floor, chewing on a bone, making himself very happy while I am trying to visit with you and uh, we'll talking about life a little bit today. Now, life itself is a process, isn't it? Uh, it deals with circumstances, with people, with situations. Life is a process of just living. I know when people ask me how old I am, and it doesn't happen too often, but when they do, I say I am five years away from 90. And they say, wow. But that is the reality, isn't it? Every day we march on uh, for something a little bit longer and a little bit different. And every day is a new adventure. I've also been asked, do I have regrets? Well, yes, I do have regrets. Uh, Maybe uh, when I was married and my husband was mentally ill, I perhaps stayed too long and I really wasn't thinking about how destructive it would be for my children. I just thought maybe that I could fix him and because I made that commitment that I should stay with him. But in hindsight, I really should have left earlier because a lot of damage really was done um, during the time that we were married and he was very, very ill and it was very scary. And that has left scars on my children. So although I do have regrets, I don't hang on to it because it's past. There's nothing I can do about it. And the further I get away from those years, and it was quite a long time ago, um, the easier it gets. But that probably is the biggest regret that I have, have. And, but as I said, it's going away and getting less and less because I am living in the moment and I try not to live in the past because that's very destructive. And actually there's no point to it at all. It serves no purpose. As we go along in life, of course, there are certain expectations, aren't there? 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. It seems that each decade, each chapter that we live has its expectations. In your 18s or early 20s, you know, you're supposed to get an education, try to find a way to earn a living. And, um, uh, that would be our probably our growth and our getting out of the nest period. The next period, it would be into the late 20s and early 30s, where most people in my era, we got married and we had families or else we built a big career and we were more involved in that, having a family and raising children. And then of course, when you get close to your 60s and the children have left and you're an empty nester or you're retired, that is the supposed to be the retirement part of your life. But personally, I really don't like that word retirement. Retirement means that we stop. <laughs> I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop living. I maybe will change course <laughs> and go into a, a different phase in my life. But I certainly don't want to stop. 
I want to keep learning. I want to keep living. I want to keep communicating with people and growing and, and enjoying the freedom years where now I have time to follow my own pleasures, to follow my heart, to follow my dreams. I don't have to get up at the same time every day when the alarm clock rings because I have to run off to work. It's such a wonderful phase of life, these freedom years that we have right now. When I was younger, I, I really didn't think about retirement. And actually, I can truthfully say this, this has been the most fulfilling part of my life because I am free to explore and to do what I want to do without having to be raising children or get up and go to a job. I can be free to do what I want most days in my life. And I think that is probably the most exciting thing about being over 60 and having the years behind me that I have and having the experiences that I have and having the wisdom that I have right now. It certainly makes my life so much easier. I don't dream of being 20 again. I really would not want to go back to those days when I had to go through what I went through and I didn't have the knowledge that I have today to face all of those challenges. It probably would be my worst nightmare <laughs> to have to go back and do that all over again. Actually, if you're around my age or younger, 60 or over, it's a time when we can open ourselves up to so many possibilities. We have the time to explore new things. It's a time when actually we can, for once, put ourselves first finding something to do just as long as it makes you happy, whether it's writing, painting, learning a new language, whatever it, <laughs> whatever your heart desires. It is a time where you are free to travel, to do what you want to do. I know if you are like me too, many times we, when we get to this age, we do have caretaking responsibilities, but we also can learn from those. I know that when Arthur was ill and I was taking care of him, actually, I would have to say that probably was the most romantic and bonding time that we had in our whole marriage because he knew I loved him. And as hard as it was, and as tired as, as I was, it brought me closer to him. And I think both of us realized how important each of us was to one another. Caretaking is not easy, but in a way it enriched my life, being able to spend those final year with Arthur, year or two years with Arthur, knowing that our marriage was bonded and sawed and that it, that I could help him in his last days of his life and make it easier. The potential of life and what it can bring to us is absolutely enormous. I only wish that when I was younger, I realized that. So I want all of you to know, if you're having angst about aging, please don't because it's a wonderful, wonderful adventure that we are allowed to partake of and that we are allowed to walk and go through each chapter of our lives with more wisdom, more confidence, more strength, and perhaps little ones 
grandchildren or children that you love, that you have watched grow and are also part of an, the enrichment to your life. Just being so grateful to wake up in the morning to know that I am going to be able to see another sunrise and hopefully another sunset and be able to enjoy what is in between during those hours that I am here. It motivates me in the very best way to enjoy the day ahead. We can live as fully as possible while we are here. I am not a Pollyanna, and I know that every day that I wake up, the window is slowly closing on me. And I have had a couple of commenters say, what is, you know, you're an old woman, why are you adopting a puppy? <laughs> well, because I have a daughter who will, is also living here and she's helping me raise him. So, but I do know that that window is closing. But while I'm here, I want to enjoy every sunshine in my life, every ray of sunshine in my life that I can while I am here. So I will never retire. I will just move on into whatever cycle of my life comes next. Thank you for joining me today and I hope that if you are younger you'll take this advice to make the most of your life from the very beginning and if you are in re my age and you are you know in that retirement mode don't retire. Just keep moving and keep living, keep learning and keep fulfilling your soul with all the things that you love. Thank you so much again for being here and I hope that you have a wonderful day today and let's spread kindness throughout the world and peace throughout the world and know that you are never alone because you are truly, truly loved. Thank you and um, this will be a little mushu motivation next. Thank you.